everyone, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we have this 2023 Acura MDX and we're going to do the front grille chrome delete installation for this vehicle. So as you can see, this is how it looks before doing the installation on the front grille. It's just a regular chrome panel. And this is how it looks after the installation. So we use the gloss black material. That way it matches the color of the middle of the section of the grille. And it also gives it a more sportier look. If you like the product, link for the product will be linked below. But with that being said, let's get started with the installation video. So before we start with the installation, we need to make sure we prep the front panel. So in order to prep it, all you need is water and baby shampoo mixed together inside a spray bottle. Once you have your solution, spray it onto a clean microfiber towel and make sure to remove all the contaminants that the front panel may have. Once you're done cleaning the grill, make sure that everything's completely clean and dry. That way the adhesive on the film is able to tack down because if there's still any water residue left over and it touches the adhesive side of the film, it's not going to stick even if you apply heat. So make sure everything is completely clean and dry. So once you finish prepping the panel, now we can start with the installation. So with this one, just place it on one end and all you need to do is match this section here right in the middle section of where the grill cuts out. You are going to notice there's a, a small design where it indicates where the middle section is located. That's where you would align the film right on the center, just like that. Lift the film carefully and all you need to do is just follow the rest of the design until it reaches to the end here. And if you feel that it's still not aligned, you can always lift it carefully and readjust it, but just take your time to place the film. And also you could use this top section as a guide in order to align the film. Once you place the film, grab your squeegee and start tacking it down. With this one, if you have a little bit of excess material, you could tuck it in underneath here since the gap between the actual grill and the chrome panel is big you could tuck in underneath and then just do the same with the rest of the film once the top is secured work your way to the lower section just make sure there is no bubbles underneath the film as you're tagging it down and then with this one you can also tuck in underneath if it's not too much material tuck in but if you feel it's a little bit too much then you can always trim off the extra material but always just double check and see if you could tuck it in before trimming off now that everything's tacked down grab your heat gun and apply heat to help that adhesive on the film act very faster on the panel Okay, so with this one, all you need to do is align it on the edge and just give yourself enough material to cover inside, just like this, and also enough to cover on the inside here. So with this one, we are going to need to apply a good amount of heat to help the film lose the tension here and be able to tack down and wrap just on this curved area here. So grab your heat gun, apply heat, and you're going to notice as you apply heat, the film is starting to loosen up. Let the film cool down and then with your finger, slowly help it tack down. And just continue applying heat until everything's tacked down. So it should look like this. And just continue finish off until you reach to the curve. And also apply heat on the top section here. That way the film starts sagging down and covering the top section of the chrome. And don't forget to tack the film here. Apply heat to help it tack down around the curve. So lift it carefully, apply a little bit of heat and tack it in top. Ok, 
Okay, it should look like this. And probably the only time you're going to need a trim on this piece is this top section here, because this, you could either leave it, but if you leave it, you might encounter fingers. So it's better to just remove it. That way, when we install this piece, it doesn't cause any issues when we install it on top of this one. So what you need to do is just grab your blade and lightly pass your blade to create a small cutout like that. And that should be it. And remember, you could tuck in since there is a good amount of gap. And then to finish it off, apply heat to seal the whole panel and then we can move on with the next pieces here. So with this piece, it goes underneath the grill in order to cover the chrome that's underneath here. So with this one, just make sure you align it on one end and you can use this lower section as the guide in order to align the rest of the film. So follow along until you reach it to the other side. Just like that. And with this one, same thing. There is a small gap here where you could tuck in the excess material, but just make sure to remove any air bubbles that are underneath the film and just help it secure. And if you need to lift to readjust it, you can. Just be careful not to accidentally tear the film as you're adjusting it. You need to trim off excess material right in the center. Just grab your blade and trim off what you don't need. And do it anywhere else where you see that's not able to get tucked inside. And now before we move on to the next piece, apply heat to help it wrap on top. And then once we're done applying heat all over the film, we move on to the top piece. So for this last piece, all you need to do is make sure you align it on either side wherever you start. So just align it on the curve and make sure you're covering the whole chrome and just use the top section as the guide in order to align the rest of the film. Once you finish placing the film, grab your squeegee and just start tacking down the film. With this one, same process, you could tuck in underneath here. So just tuck in as much as you can and make sure to remove any air bubbles that are trapped underneath the panel as you're tagging it down. And then just do the same for the other side. And then for this section, we're going to apply a little bit of heat starting from here and tagging down the rest going outward. So just take your time as you do this. Make sure not to crease the film as you're applying heat and tagging it down. So once you finish with the whole installation for the front grill, the last thing to do is to grab your heat gun and apply heat all over the film. That way we help the adhesive activate faster. And also making sure if we do see any film still lifting, we apply heat around that area and help it tack back down. So just take your time, make sure you go all around, pulse heating everything. And then once you're done with this step, you're done with the installation. Thank you for choosing Bower Tech Design. As a small business, your support means everything to us. If you loved your product, please drop a review. If you have questions or issues, don't forget to message us via email. Once again, thank you so much for the support from our family to yours. So that concludes the installation video for the front grill chrome delete installation for the 2023 Acura MDX. We hope that this video helped you guys out with the installation. If it did, don't forget to drop a like on the video. Make sure you subscribe and turn on that notification bell. That way you don't miss any of our upcoming installation videos. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.